Hey, good morning guys. You know what? I've got a really quick project here. This is, um, I wanted to share this with you. I wasn't going to put it on film because this is kind of a, a last minute Christmas gift for a local kid that's making something for his mom and he needed some engraving done, engraving slash carving. Um, and I'm going to try something that I'm not sure is going to work. I think it will, theoretically, I think it will. So here's what, um, here's what the project is. He's making a frame, like a two foot by two foot frame with two by fours and, um, and stuff. And it's going to be a wall decoration. And he's got a piece of wood that's going to go in between this two by two frame. And he wants this uh, engraved in a piece of wood, which normally would not be a problem for me. However, here's the deal. Here is the piece of wood. I've actually, um, this is a piece of that, I, well, it looks like Luan to me, um, Luan paneling. I've got it mostly covered with blue tape because I, I have an idea of what I want to do here. This is an eighth of an inch thick, which is like, you know, I never would carve on something like that. Ideally, what I'd like to do is be able to put this in my laser and do it all with a laser, but our laser doesn't take two foot by two foot pieces. It's just too big to fit in our laser. If we had a bigger laser, that would be the way to do it. But here's what I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to attempt to um, cover the whole thing with blue tape. I'm going to lay it out with my layout letters, spray it. I'm going to carve through the tape and... Um, hopefully not all the way through the board. And then once I get done carving it, then I'm gonna remove the tape and he's gonna take care of all the color. Um, and I've, I've told him my recommendation is finish the whole board and then uh, go back. I'm gonna do inset letters and go back and paint those inset letters. But after you have a great finish on the outside, that way you can swap it around inside those inset letters and be able to just wipe it off theoretically that that's kind of what i'm thinking but anyway so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to actually i've got a whole bunch of layout letters over here i'm going to get it set up and laid out sprayed and then i'm going to come back and um, show you guys see how the carving goes uh, again i've never i don't recall that i've ever carved on eighth inch I consider this a plywood. It is a type of plywood, um, but I'm not going to do any sanding on it. That's all up to him as far as uh, painting and all that. So I'm hoping to be able to get the layout down on top of this tape. I'm going to cover it with packing tape and then carve through the packing tape, through the, the uh, painter's tape, and uh, just score the board, maybe a 16th inch into the board. And um, we're going to see how it comes out. Anyway, stick around, guys. You'll watch me do it, hopefully. Or if it if this whole thing fails, you'll never see it. So it doesn't matter. Anyway, so stick around. I'll come back, and I'll have the layout all done. All right, folks, we're back. So uh, you saw the layout on that. Now, what I wanted to do, I, I did some testing, kind of, because I really was not sure which router bit I wanted to use to do this, because this is different than anything I've done it's and it's a little bit risky but um, I'm hoping it comes out you guys will find out so maybe if you want to pan down here so I did um, I did some some playing around and as it turns out the uh, this style of letter these are what are these two inch, two inch. yeah two inch um, universal, universal. and then the bigger ones are uh, three inch I think Bookman, it turns out that I can do the whole thing with the um, with the spiral upcut bit, and that way it'll have a flat background. It'll be easier for the guy that ordered it. It'll be easier for him to paint without having a texture in there. And, and like I say, ideally the best way to do this is with a, a laser. Just our laser won't accept uh, the big board. But anyway, so this was my test piece. I just wanted to play around with it. I tried a couple different bits, but the the um, spiral upcut is the one that I decided on. So now here is my here is my piece. Uh, got 
it's a little sketchy on some of these lines here, but I know where they're supposed to be, so I, I, that's no problem. So I've got the painter's tape, I did my layout, and then I've got, uh, that's the painter's tape, and then I've just got packing tape on top of that over where the letters are. So the thing about doing this is I have to be careful that the tape that um, kind of burrs and stuff, I don't let it uh, cause my router to go off. So I've got to be very, very careful on the depth setting, and I have this set at exactly a sixteenth deep, which is half the depth of this, but it's, it won't be quite that deep because it's got the thickness of the painter tape and the um, packing tape on top of that. So it won't quite be a, sixth, uh, a sixteenth of an inch deep, um, but it doesn't have to be anything other than just past the surface. So let's get to it. Let's see. So I am using um, I'm using the Bosch 125, and uh, I think it will work out pretty well for me. Um, is that going to work for you, baby? You want me to turn no, it around? We're fine. Is that going to be all right? Okay, I'm going to do this line here. It's closest to I could do this one, but uh, that's reaching a little bit too far. I think I want to do this teacher line first. All right. Wish me luck.
so one of the one of the issues with carving through the tape and the tape is that you know when you're doing this you don't know exactly where that line is so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and finish all of this uh, preliminary carving up uh, off camera and then when I come back this will all be this will all be carved and then we're going to take all the tape off and what I'm going to do is I'll go over each letter and see if I need to straighten up any lines or anything like that because it really gets kind of um, kind of iffy where these these things are kind of burred up so that's uh, that's what the plan is uh, we'll be right back all right guys so there is the carving my initial carving so what I want to do now is I want to pull all the tape off and just see uh, what lines I need to um, I need to straighten up. So yeah, I was hoping it would come off a little bit easier than that. I think from the bottom up it might might come off easier. Vicky always likes to get involved in these. <laughs> Something about the tearing off of the tape. Kind of satisfying thing. Mm. I don't want to reach the front of the camera there. You guys can kind of see what we're doing here. I don't want to take it. Can All you right. move it up now? Yeah. Kind of glary. Oh. Okay. No, that's worse. Well, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I have to kind of tip it forward to keep that glare off okay. of that. All right, so I am going to go and... Go um, huh? I am going to kind of go over these letters and just uh, kind of straighten up the stuff that went squirrely on me. I could draw a bunch of lines on there, but honestly, I don't think I will. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to adjust my depth because I want to make sure not go too deep. Now, again, he's going to paint. What I suggested him to do is when he gets his back from me, put a full finish on the on it. You no, know, three or four coats, whatever he's going to put on it. Then go back and paint these letters. If he's using oil based. And he goes and you know slops some paint in the in here. If it's got a full finish on it, he can just use paint thinner and wipe off the surface. If it's water based, obviously he can use water. At least that's my theory. That's the way I would do it. Um, that kind of chipped on me right there. That's the problem with plywood. You never know when that's going to happen. That kind of chipped. So he's going to have to be careful about that. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to adjust my depth. To be not quite as deep because um, because that tape is now not there so I am setting it setting my depth back at uh, just a little less than a sixteenth which I think yeah that should be just about right okay so, let's just hit a couple of these for you guys, so you can see what I'm, kind of what I'm doing. Got a little, I'm going to start actually up here. Actually, not bad. And I'm not worried about the unevenness down there, guys. If it's a little uneven, that doesn't bother me, because he's going to be painting all that anyway. I want to straighten that line up there on the Z a little bit. The A looks pretty good. Although, I think I need to be a little straighter. Right? Yeah,
So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I was adjusting my depth there, trying to match that depth, and uh, that's, you know, one of the things I, one of the reasons I really like this 611, because I can really micro adjust it, that, this one is a little tougher to do. Um, okay. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I am going to go over all of these letters, make sure all my lines look as clean as they can look, and then we're going to come back and take a final look at the whole thing. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, here it is. I got it all done. I think I pretty much cleaned up the lines as much as I could. Um, pretty happy with the way it came out. I learned a lot uh, on this because I've never done anything quite like this before. The biggest lesson that I learned is I never want to do this again. Uh, it was it it really wasn't that bad, but it was definitely challenging. Um, the difference in depth and the and uh, here's the thing that I don't know how I did this, but I used definitely the wrong router. I should have used my 611. I talk about it all the time that my uh, DWP 611, I love the micro adjustment on there. What a blunder not using that. I use the Bosch. The Bosch cuts just fine, but the micro adjustment on the Bosch is, um, let's just say it's not good. <laughs> not nothing like the the DWP, but I had such a tough time uh, regulating my depth when I went back in here to do my uh, to do to clean up the lines. Anyway, I learned a lot, and uh, again, I should it should have been three or four times as much as what I charged the kid, but that's just the way it is. Anyway, uh, I hope this was useful for you guys. Um, one thing that I would uh, that I would recommend if you're going to do something like this is um, just take your time. You cannot rush through this because when you're cutting with that spiral upcut bit, especially, it feels like you're cutting nothing. It literally wants to fly through that material. So you have to have a really, really delicate hand with it and take your time. Don't rush through it. Um, but anyway, we'll, uh, I'm kind of curious to see how it comes out. But now the, the kid will sand it down. What I suggested, put a full finish, like I've said before, then it will allow him to get in there and paint those without having to be too careful. He can just wipe the excess off uh, the surface. Anyway, that is it, guys. Ooh. I don't want to drop it and break it now. Uh, that's it, guys. Hope this was helpful. Hope you found... Uh, Found some use out of this. If you ever carve this stuff, now you have uh, something to reference back to. Thanks so much for watching. We would love it if you haven't subscribed to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video, all of that stuff. And please leave us comments in uh, the YouTube uh, chat on this uh, video. Anytime you can leave us comments, it just makes our, sh our channel show up that much more. So if you have any questions, eric at makeawoodsign.com. Um, if you have any questions for Vicki, it's Vicki with Dave Signs at gmail.com. If you need any supplies, there's a website. That's it. We're out. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.